Well, the youngest man in Budapest's FIA Formula 3 European Championship paddock is Santino Ferrucci. The American celebrated his 16th birthday in Hungary, and that means he will actually be allowed to start the next race weekend in Spa. But he was already getting in some practice. It's great. I mean, I've uh, been watching quite a few of the races. It's, it's uh, surprising. I feel like a driver now. <laughs> But um, it's it's great spectating. I just uh, I miss being in the car. So uh, it's definitely different. Well, here at his home track, Roy Nissani, the Israeli driver who lives in Budapest, being supported by his dad. You can imagine he's very emotional. After so many years that I'm driving here, uh, I won many races uh, here. And uh, for me, it's a very special, uh, very special event, no question. Well, after a drive through for a jump start in race two, Jake Dennis gets another attempt to get away cleanly, uh, but teammate the Jordan race, King my doesn't. Engine, uh, deciding it didn't want to go much further, so I now can't race in this race. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a strange experience walking on the grid, but yeah, it happens sometimes. Also spectator DTM driver Daniel Cucadella, his team Prima Power team that he raced with from 2010 to 2012. Yeah, I think it's very nice to follow follow the young people here, young drivers coming to my former team, and it's really nice to see you know how they are doing, and also to see my mechanics, uh, my engineers is really nice. Esteban Ocon again on pole position. Once more, they get underway. Yellow flags waving vigorously at the back. Antonio Fuoco didn't make the greatest start as Ocon takes the lead. They try and go three wide behind. Felix Rosenquist and Lucas Auer battling for second place. The two orange Mucca Motorsport cars as Fuoco gets shuffled back. Fuoco stays alongside and battles Lucas Auer. Con keeps his nose safely out of the way. Felix Rosenquist in second place. Lucas Auer doesn't get a good exit out of turn five. And Fuoco's put himself on the inside into the chicane. Grabs the third spot. Threatening clouds overhead. Crash here between Alexander Toril and Switzerland's Sandro Zella. End of the race for the son of multiple Swiss Formula 3 champion Joe Zella. Good battle here, Felix Rosenquist after a drive through penalty. Re emerging from the pit lane ahead of Jules Simkoviak. Also, drive through penalties for track limits. Drivers trying to use all the runoff area and a little bit too much more. Felix Sorales in sixth position, the Puerto Rican driver, being passed by Tom Blomquist. Sorales starting his Formula 3 campaign in Britain two seasons ago, and then moving to the European Championship last year. Another shot of Esteban Ocon, slow-mo through the chicane. Lurid spin of Spike Goddard. And why? Well, it started to rain. Those threatening clouds have done more than threaten. As rain comes down on the slick shot field, the safety car is scrambled. And with the race approaching three quarters distance, there is no option but to red flag it. It is not going to stop and not going to be safe. So Prima Power team, very happy with that. Estepan Ocon, our race winner once more. Antonio Fuoco second and Lucas Auer rounds out the podium. Very good weekend. Uh, once again, we are consistent every time in the front. Uh, the team gave me a good car every time. So yeah, that's what we are fighting for, and uh, still uh, some few improvements to do on my start. Well, Esteban Ocon, the big winner of the weekend, extending his championship lead, showing amazing speed as a rookie in the series. Well, that's it for the Hungaro Ring. Next time out, we're at Spa-Francorchamps.